Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how I install this Ali Pro wig from start to finish and of course let y'all know if their wigs is tea or not. Make sure to stay tuned. So in the package I received two scarves, an elastic band, a wig cap, some lashes, an edge brush, and a bag for the hair. They sent me their 200% density and yes I said 200 okay because we love that for us. 13 by 4 24 inch deep wave HD lace wig. Um, my cap size is a small and y'all, this density is the truth. There's four clips on the inside. Now the frontal was plucked, but you know we always go back in to do a little bit more. Whenever I pluck, I don't really follow my hairline so much just because I have a very intense widow's peak. It's really far out and um, if I made my wigs how my actual hairline was it just it wouldn't it wouldn't be cute <laughs> and we don't want that and this is what the hairline looks like once I'm finished plucking typically when I color my lace I only use foundation but for some reason I was compelled to use foundation at the base and then set it with some powder I feel like it made it look a little bit more orange than normal, but I think I need to get a new powder color because my color has definitely changed because of the season that we're in. Once I had all the foundation on, I followed that up with some got to be spray to really hold that color in place. At this point, I still had my silk press, so I just put my hair in a low ponytail, braided it, and then flipped it upwards so it wouldn't be too bulky in the back. Because of the density in the back, you wouldn't even be able to tell that I put this braid back here. I did the ball cap method per usual. If you haven't seen how I do this, check out the video in the upper right corner for a more detailed rundown. I did have to bleach the knots and I do feel like it was a bit tougher to bleach them versus the last HD wig that I had bought myself. I ended up having to bleach it twice because the first time I thought it was good but it really wasn't and then the second time I feel like I over bleached it a little bit. This time around, we're going to be using Erica J's wig glue. I typically don't glue my wigs down. I only use Got To Be or my new favorite, the Bedhead TIGI spray. I used three layers of glue, which is way more than I usually use, but I was going down south, needed my hair to stay put for a few days, and yeah. For the first two layers, I made sure they were completely dry before applying another one. And then on the last one, I waited until it was a bit tacky to lay down the wig. As I mentioned earlier, I did get the cap in a size small, but I recently reinstalled the wig and the lace just wasn't sitting like it was the first time. Like the sides just felt a lot shorter and it's probably because the second time I braided my hair versus having it, you know, with my silk press, super straight, super flat. But since I normally do braids, I'm thinking that I should start getting medium wig caps and adjusting them if need be because I just struggle so much with the small ones and I really hate braiding. I don't know about y'all, but it's very much not something that I like doing or enjoy doing. It takes me a long time and I'm rambling, but yeah, we don't like doing it. So let me know if y'all do this. Comment down below if y'all do this because my measurements definitely are screaming small, but my braiding is saying very much medium or large. <laughs> I started to take my baby hair out and sprayed my holding spray in between just to ensure that it was going to be laid to the gods, okay? Then I'm using the elastic band they sent to really get that melt going. Once that's dry, I'm gonna start cutting the lace off. I used a razor versus scissors because I'm finding that a razor just gives a better jaggedness to the lace so that it looks more natural. Plus to me, it cuts a lot closer to my hairline than scissors do in some cases.
I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but I have gotten so much better at cutting the lace off of my ear tabs. Like, your girl is giving behind the ear all summer, okay? For any sections that were lifting, I used a little bit of glue on the top of my rat tail comb to glue those spots back down. Then I put the elastic back on after spraying some more holding spray on the lace. The only downside about this wig is the depth of the frontal. I feel like it's such a gorgeous wig and for it to only go back four inches is a little disappointing. But, um, you know, we just gotta tell these wig companies, can we make the standard five? I feel like that's a, that's a better number than four. Like, who agreed that four was the standard? Cause I did not sign up for this, but it's whatever. The wig was beautiful either way. The Bedhead TIGI spray gives the most ultimate melt ever. Like, I like it so much better than Got To Be, to be honest. And if you haven't tried it, please do, just once. I promise you'll love it. I would highly suggest cutting the lace into sections before you actually glue the wig down. The only reason I say this is because one side would be laid properly, but then the other side would shift either forward, backward, whatever. So then the air tabs wouldn't be where I needed them to be, or it would even make the lace buckle, which we definitely don't want. This wig is giving the girls scalp honey and I love this for us. It's time to cut the baby hairs, y'all. I tried using the razor at first, but it wasn't giving what it was supposed to get at all. So I went back to my handy dandy scissors to get the job done. Now my edges are definitely starting to take me more time. Like this took me maybe a good 30 minutes to do, but they look so good to me. Y'all ever had a wig so good that you just did your steps out of order? Like, wasn't even paying attention. You just winging it at this point. That was me. I was just ready for it to be on and was not even paying attention to my usual routine. So the one thing I do want to get a bit better at is those fluffy looking edges. I feel like mine sometimes be giving curtains closed. And I realize it really depends on how much hair you include and um, also the way you cut it. But I just haven't gotten that rhythm yet. I'm trying to, I haven't gotten it perfect, but we're getting there. Before I finish my edges though, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle just so I know exactly where I want my baby hairs to go. To mold my edges, I did use some mousse and I find that it works very well to get everything in place. Then I follow up with my edge booster edge control, which I didn't show you guys here, but that's what I use after, just so I can really solidify that in place. Once I have all of that down, I tie it up for a few minutes and you're gonna have some super laid edges. This is what the hair looks like dry and combed out a bit. It gets really big y'all, very much giving Diana Ross vibes. Now I've certainly had full density wigs before, but this is a game changer. Like, especially with the texture of this wig, y'all, this wig is extremely thick. 
Now, I do love me some big hair, but I want to tone it down a bit. So I sprayed water mostly to the top of the hair and that is it, girlies. This hair is certainly a must have, especially at 200% density. Like I said, the only drawback is that I got a 13 by four and that four inches really felt smaller than it was, especially once I started cutting the lace off. But obviously you can order a larger size than that. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Tap that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. Thumbs this video up if you like what you see and share this with your friends, family, coworkers. You, you guys know the spiel. Leave some comments down below if you would try this hair for yourself or if you have any comments, questions in general. Thank y'all so much for watching as usual and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.